All right, so we're back at it on the 66 today. PG's here with us. Back to that help a friend still there. Uh, help a friend's going to tie over into uh, Camper Joe's outdoor garage today. Well, uh, one side's 5 eighths, the other side ain't. Of course not. That's 9 16 ain't it? Well, it's bigger than an. Oh, bigger than 5 eighths? 11 16 You ain't got one. Uh, it's in the shop. Well, you have to swap it, vice versa, into a 7 16th socket. So, 5 8 inch. It's going to be too small. All right, anyways, so yeah, the two are going to mesh together. I'm off out of camera site right now. I apologize. Uh, basically, we just we're trying to hustle. We're gonna swap out the ram today on the cherry picker. Went from a heavy duty to a super heavy duty according to Harbor Freight. So we'll have to yeah, see how that We're gonna need another ranch because this won't fit back in there. Seven sixteenths. Eleven sixteenths. Eleven sixteenths. All right. We have ourselves the wrenches and stuff. We'll be right back. All right. I wish I could give you more camera angles at this time, which is kind of a low budget production, as you're going to find out. Depending on when you watch this, it might be years down the road. But uh, we're going to get better at this and stuff. We're just working on it. It's all brand new to us. We thank you for uh, understanding and being patient with us. I'm going to leave you with TG. I'm going to go grab the ram and show you guys. We'll swap that out. Get ready to move it to the other side. Well, looks like TG is going to grab this other mount for us. Yeah, it's definitely a different. There's a difference in the two. <laughs> look, at the, look at the circumference. All right, here we go. All right, this was the ram that it came with. I showed you that before. And then, if you look down here, it just says heavy duty, eight ton. The new one says eight ton, super heavy duty. Whoa, I mean, you got to have the super because and Camper Joe's super sleepers, everything has to be super. We changed out, and we're going to let you all watch that if you want. I'm using a couple of pair of channel locks because, I mean, why, why should we get wrenches? It's nothing that's really tight, nothing that's really that big of a deal. We're just trying to get this done. It's going to be a bit of a rush day, like I said. you got a temporary hand on a Sunday, you get after it. for some great stuff when he drops it on my head, ain't it? Let's not, though. Let's see, we did. <laughs> right? I appreciate you being so kind and loving. Oh, my God, that's bigger. Suitable for children. Oh. 
Folks, I guess we probably should put oil in it, huh? All right, we got some jack oil. After this here, struggling with the rubber. This is our O'Reilly's jack oil in a Harbor Freight cylinder. This thing should be just super. Because, <laughs> like I said, this is Camper Joe's super sleep, is everything super in our outdoor garage. Oh, I wish I could go that long. Got it on the outside. You <laughs> see what them comments we might get freaking YouTube slapped. There's going, you're supposed to use a pick. Damn it, what the hell's wrong with you kids? You guys don't learn nothing. I'll send you to school, you eat the books and beat the teachers. All right, let's see if we can get this bolt in. Oh, come on, we're so close. Give me another phone. Turn it back on this side, it's on just. Yeah, I mean, it fell on up. I would get it easier at least. Okay, now pump up. Okay. There you go. It ain't holding you, Bill. No. I don't know if it's, you know, it's that guy right there. It's this thing here. That's what I thought. Not that, yeah. There you go. Now pump it. There we go. You gotta be smarter than what you're working with, right? Yes, so. You blew that one. Oh, watch is on the wrong side. Genius. All right. We got her. Got her asses kicked, but we got her. Like great. Still right? No. Still recording. Couldn't be. Yeah. Me? Oh, now I see the red. Yeah, you can't see the red. See, I can't see the light flashing up top. It's red here now. All right, we got the cylinder back on. I think we're ready to rock and roll. TG realized we have the valve on still. Oh, looky there. We got go, 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 go. Look at that. All right. Awesome, guys. There you go. All right. We just picked up a possible cameraman, so this is going to be good. 
He's not even following me yet. He's still watching the car. That's a hell of a cameraman. I had to hire two more like that. Big oh, car. you're supposed to pick the thing up and follow? Yes, boss. How do we, how we do this stuff? Dobby, good house elf. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I told you we're at cut rate production. We're going to need the big yellow scrap hook to the suburban. All of our stuff is B roll. <laughs> you can't even make an A roll. Egg rolls. You guys eat them things? Oh. Oh. The spirit into the pepper. Beautiful chrome bumper that was good. One more to get off this charge here. Move it back and lower it down just a hair. Get off this bumper here. We'll hear some so we're not really heavy down. We're already headed down <laughs> more obsessively. Like that. Oh, it's looking good so far. All right, plus at least from that motor mount, go ahead and get a picture of that down in there. Here, cameraman, go ahead and take this guy here, lock him straight, and you stick this guy up. And you go. Oh, yeah, he did get that motor mount loose. <laughs> that was loose. And he was just about free. We do work on a bit of an incline here. So, we happen to work on a hill a little bit here in the driveway, so we are reinforcing this so it can't roll away from us too much. And uh, we're going to use that for a safety. about to pull this out of here. It's coming free from the transmission. You can see there the bell housing and the motor are separating now. Motor is coming out of the mounts. Look at that. How are we looking back there? Is everything clear? Yeah. There it goes. Huh? It's Everything's clear. Good. Everything's following out smoothly? Yep. All right. Step back and get a view of the whole thing coming out. Look at that. Here's our flywheel. Everything came clean out and smooth. And, uh, we're just going to raise it up on out of here. Yeah, roll back a little bit, I think. Yep, we're still clear. Look at that. That is beautiful. I'm starting to like this new ram already. It's smoother than the original one. Just super heavy duty. Yeah, losing a little bit of water. <laughs> we'll get some kitty litter on that here in a second. Getting this out of the car is helping me tremendously today. And, uh, take that guy and just kind of Wrap them up around the chain or something. Yeah, the vacuum lines, that's fine. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. <coughs> All right. Yeah. I guess if you want to back up slow, make it work for one of these dudes. All right, TJ's going to uh, pull back. Oh, okay. Put them legs out there. here. I'll just put them in for a second. Oh. Look at the suck. All right, TJ's going to pull us on back. We're spare head to move his ride, so I'm at the front camera. That's work. That's 
lower. Okay, like so. Hope that's a good view for y'all. Come on down, our cameraman's hustling about as good as a herd of turtles. <laughs> Should be recording, right? Yeah. Need that freaking ram something to set this on. Uh, where we want to set it. Yeah, we're going to find some tires or something, but we'll just get it down out of the air for now. That should be low enough until we get something. Well, that is a smooth wind. I'm not a good better than that. I've never had a motor hoist come down that smooth. Alrighty. We're back at it. I think we got something to set this on, T. Davis. <laughs> I'm so used to fucking yours up on purpose, messing yours up on purpose. <laughs> now I messed it up on accident. Thanks, Tell me, TJ, on the camera. It's all good. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do it all the time on purpose. I totally do his name wrong. It's an actual long running joke between him and me. It's still not all the way down. Run, get on your hook. Change his initials all the time for his name. And uh, uh yeah. set up something to hold that back end steer it a little bit any more nope oh, looky there all right right there folks i think we got it which will sit right there happily no, I'm just gonna do that number. all right well we'll need it again we're going to need to figure out how to get that sucker out back and lift that motor or something. We have to figure out how to get the motor out of this other trailer. Right. So go ahead and put a cut on this. All right, so what we have going on here is I have this enclosed trailer I bought. We have the engine up inside here, inside the enclosed trailer. So go out that way it's full of crap come out this door we're gonna have to figure out a way to make it all the way back around to the front of the other side of my house yeah so bear with us we got a plan we're gonna work on it right now all right here we go we're gonna try to attempt to get this motor stand uh standing all onto this trailer and uh i need to tilt down don't i one, two. I, I can. Don't worry. Just bring her up. One, two, three. All right. Here we go. Nope. Oh, here. Oh, no. the door. There you go. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to do this and hold the phone and get good video and. We're not doing her very well, but looky there, boys. I think we got her. Weights over the wheels. We just need to strap her down. All right, let us get this strap down. I had to switch cameras because the other one died, so bear with us. All right, so we got her down. She's onto the trailer now. We're going to take the four-wheeler back up front. Uh, I don't know how much of that I got for you. I don't have camera people when all of our hands are full, so I hope I got most of it for you. Thanks. 